Uh, obviously, this fight is, is has cat miss, like you said, fight of the year kind of written all over it. To, to open up the press conference, you said it's going to be a September to remember. Let's talk about this weekend, Denny versus uh, Sean Porter. Oh, another, another great fight. I don't know how many can ask me. It's probably going to be 50-50 split. Who is going to win? Um, I mean, Danny Garcia, who I was fortunate to promote many of his events. And the same is with Sean Porter. Many, many of his events, most of his fights. Uh, these are two terrific fighters, very skilled fighters. And it really depends. If it's more of an inside fight, I can see uh, Sean Porter win the fight. If uh, Mikey, if, if, uh, not Mikey, if, uh, if Danny Garcia is going to use his reach and advantage and keep it on the outside, and, and so I think uh, Danny is going to win. So it's a it's kind of event you want to watch. Is, is the, I feel like the referee in that fight almost might be the determining factor because if he's going to allow them to fight on the inside, then I, I feel. Agree. I totally agree with you. Good sorry, you, sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All the best. Okay. I'll see you then. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. And, uh, and uh, well, I think the ref is going to be a very important factor in that fight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, the week after, I know Triple G's coming up. I'm sure you saw the 24-7. They, they seem very angry with each other. Uh, I was actually up in uh, in camp a couple of weeks ago uh, to watch Joe spar. Uh, and I saw Triple G spar. It was the first time that I actually saw Triple G spar. And I've seen, I was fortunate to see a lot of fighters spar. And the intensity of the training, the intensity of the sparring, the intensity of just the whole, the, the way he, he trains, uh, I've only seen that once before, and that is Floyd Mayweather. Uh, I mean, hard work, dedication, that's what Floyd always said. The same can be said about uh, Triple G. He's focused, he's laser, laser sharp, he's in a fantastic shape. And yes, he does have that anger in him, uh, which I think uh, he uses as a, as, as a motivation. So, I mean, he is, Triple G is going for the kill. You, you mentioned you've only seen that once before with Floyd. I'm assuming you've seen Canelo spar and stuff. Does he not have that? I don't know, is it just different or...? or? It's not the whole intensity, it's just like, uh, you know, I mean, I was like, uh, I watched Triple G, I mean, as a little example, I watched Triple G, uh, you know, train, and as his training was over, he did exercise to the other for hours. I mean, just really, really impressed. Really impressed, really, with the whole atmosphere in the Avon Sands' gym. I mean, this, this is like, it's like a close-knit family there, and they motivate each other, and they help each other. Uh, I, I've been fortunate a few times to be there because of Joe, and I have to say, I'm really, really, really impressed. And my last question, having seen that, does that change your opinion at all on how the, the yes. rematch plays out? Yes, uh, you know, I before I saw it like that, Canelo probably would have, I mean, he sort of like saw what experienced the first fight, uh, you know, he got a bit stronger in the, in the last few rounds, and that this would sort of like be a continuation, and that Canelo Hello, probably would would win. That was sort of like my saw. But after having seen the physical and the mental mindset of Canelo of uh, Triple G, I have to I have to say I changed my pick. So now you're going Triple G on the rematch. Wow, it's a bold statement. Thank you so much. Richard. Appreciate your time, brother. Thank you, mate. <laughs> How's it going? Going good. Thank you.